the only dating advice you'll ever need. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mia Miss Drea. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so that you'll be notified every time I create videos just like this. Let's hop straight into the video. The number one thing that you need to do when dating is to pray and ask God if this is the person that you're supposed to be with and wait for an answer. God may not answer you right then. He may not answer you right there. But if you wait, Father, show me. Lord, let me know. Make it crystal clear to me if this is the person that I'm supposed to marry. And he will do it. Or he'll show you that they're not the person that you're supposed to marry. Our number one rule in dating is to pray about it. And I feel like that has been the biggest issue in my dating experience is that I, I wasn't praying and seeking the face of God enough. Like, you know, my pastor always jokes and says, being married, you going to have an another prayer life. Get ready for another prayer life. And that's what it is. You're dealing with a whole nother individual. I talked to this lady. Um, I used to uh, work in the school district and in the school system. And she told me, she said, you know what? In my second marriage, she said, I had to pray just as much as I did in my first marriage. When you're dealing with a whole nother individual, prayer is the key. But before you get to the point of actually marrying this person, you need to seek God's face vigorously. <laughs> Lord, I'm not going to let go until you give me a clear answer on this life changing experience. I totally feel like the biggest risk in today's society is not business. It's not purchasing a house. It's not, it's not traveling. It's, it's not going out there and uh, being an entrepreneur. None of those things are a risk. Is giving yourself to another person. There is no risk greater than giving yourself to another person. So we need to take more caution. And I feel like we haven't taken as much caution as we should have. So I encourage you to pray about it first. The next thing is to pay attention to their character. So many times there are red flags when we're dating and we just don't pay attention to it. I was dating this guy and we were talking and he made a statement about how he had to lie to some of his customers to, um, to make a sale. And they always say hindsight is 2020. I should have knew right then that there were things that he was lying to me about. If you're going to lie to people that are making very, very serious decisions on making an, an enormous purchase, like the purchases, what he sold, I'm not going to get all into that, like was not no, he wasn't selling no travel kit for $120. He wasn't selling something small. He was selling something that was a su substantial amount of money, which of course they got what they paid for, but at the same time, don't coerce a person into something if that's not their true standard. And so, um, you know, nobody wants to be lied to. Like, give me the be give me the real. Give, give me what it is and let me make a decision. If I want to sit here and spend ten thousand dollars on something, I'm gonna spend the money on it. If I'm gonna spend thirty thousand, if I'm gonna spend sixty thousand, that's because I that's what I want to do. It's not because you finessed me. And so pay attention to a person's character. And of course, that relationship ended bitterly. But then I thought about it. I was like, had I just taken that piece of information? Because I'm the type of person that evaluates everything. Like, I overanalyze. And when I just went back and I was just really dissecting exactly what happened between us, because there were some great moments, he had a character flaw. Like, the guy was awesome in so many areas but like he had a major character flaw in an area that i did not that was a non-negotiable for me like you lying to somebody about a enormous purchase is something that i'm not gonna agree about so the small little white lies you told me or little things you told me that weren't complete transparency was a problem so evaluate a person's character John Green has an amazing video on YouTube 
that talks about understanding a person's character. And, uh, you know, I was talking to a friend and we were discussing some things and I was telling her, uh, we were talking about somebody. And we, what I was explaining to her was, I don't even think that this person is being malicious. I think that this is their personality. This is who they are. It's not that they are sitting up conjuring up some kind of way to be evil. Like, this is who they are. What we're getting is this is a personality. So once you figure out that this is, oh, this is just what they do, you make the decision on if that's who you want to be with or not. Next is find out how a person reacts when they get mad. That kind of ties into the character thing, but if you got somebody that turns into Freddy Cougar when he get mad, if he trying to destroy everybody, if, if he turn into Chucky, if she turns into the bride of Chucky when she get mad, or he turns into a maniac when he get mad, he ready to, to destroy everybody and take everybody out, that ain't what we want to deal with. Some people take it too far. I'm just going to be honest. Some people take it too far. And it could be where they are in life. I have been in positions in life, you know, I try to be transparent on this channel and let you guys know as much as I can. We all make decisions, poor decisions, because we're angry or we're upset. But there comes a point in time in life where we have to mature and understand that every time somebody does something, no matter how flagrant it is, we don't have to go back and pay them back with something just as flagrant. Like, I don't want to make a mistake that was genuinely a mistake and then I have to suffer a brutal punishment from you because you couldn't forgive me. Like, that's really the bottom line is like, figure out how these people act when they get mad because you got people that are straight up Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, trying to knock somebody out for real i've had that happen to me in relationships where it's like i've made mistakes you want somebody that's going to use some grace because i need grace and then first of all make sure you're the person that knows how to give grace yeah you can be mad yeah i might you might get a few cuss words or something but i'm not gonna go out and make it my life mission to conjure up some type of scenario as a payback we're not doing that last but not least watch how they treat people around them this is the this has been in so many times i don't even communicate this to people but this was a red flag just sit up and pay attention to how they treat the people around them if they're treating everybody like crap around them mama sister uh kids Watch how people treat their kids. I, I I don't, you got certain people that mistreat kids. You got people that talk to their mama like they crazy. Like, dude, if you don't got no respect for your mom, and this is a man or a woman, not respecting your mom, no matter what she has done, is a red flag. I, I, I'm just saying, I've seen people disrespect siblings. Look, if you don't have no respect for these people around you, who you should love dearly and who you should have some honor for, I'm not finna slide in and get out of uh, get out of honor and out of praise. I mean that that's a long shot. Like at some point, the disrespect is gonna trickle down to somebody, and the person they're dating is going to be next in line. So this is the best relation. This is the only relationship advice you're gonna ever need. I think I covered everything, but you know what? There's always more to touch on. So stay tuned to my channel. If you have not hit the subscribe button, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so that you'll be notified every time I create videos just like this. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.